everyone and welcome to my channel and if you're new to my channel welcome to you so my lovely is for 2022 i've decided to go into this year with a little bit of a different perspective i was doing sort of dated weekly readings and i didn't want to sort of date the readings as we go into 2022 because i'm a big believer of sometimes i do it myself i can click on a random video and it's better if it's timeless because it could be for you at that certain point for that message. So this is how I'm going to go uh, in 2022. I'm just going to upload the individual star signs as and when. OK, um, I will try to do them in groups, actually, sort of do all the fire signs first and the water signs and the earth, earth signs and the air signs. But they'll all be get uploaded individually. OK, but I'm not going to give them specific dates as such so that's the little bit of a different message this week so with that said and done let's get into the messages now going to be reading for the lovely star sign of gemini so gemini i'm going to shuffle a couple of cards to start with we're going to read your poetic words and then i'm going to grab the book of answers as well uh, for you to get a message out of there so let's start shuffling away and get a couple of cards in the energies for you for the Gemini's Gemini Gemini Gemma Gemma Gemini so we'll have that one and that one for you I'm just gonna place oh sorry I knocked the camera then I knocked it I'm just gonna pull it back a bit I work in a very tight spot here so that'll do for now sorry about that gems right then oh i wasn't going to turn those over was i got distracted then by my camera sorry guys right i'm going to read you my poetic words to start with for gemini eeny meeny miny mo should i stay or should i go decisions are on the anvil for you Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Should I stay or should I go? Decisions are on the anvil this week. Many answers to questions you seek. Bide your time before jumping in and a surprise for some will be a win, win, win. So yeah, a mixed energy for you there. Okay, I felt like there's some decisions, big key decisions that you are contemplating on around this time. Whoever tunes into this reading, whenever. Then there's a lot of answers needed to some questions that you are seeking okay it's also saying there's a situation around you where you need to bide your time before you start jumping in wading in um get your facts straight okay there's something about getting facts straight and also that there's going to be some a surprise situation where you come out on top there's a win-win-win situation around you um which is good news for some of my gemini's so with that said and done, I'm just going to grab the book of answers and see what words of wisdom come out of this for my Geminis. Where do I want to stop for Gemini spirit? And I feel there. You know better now than ever before. Okay. You know better now than ever before. So this is a situation around you that there is certain answers that you're already aware of okay you know somebody as well um maybe a situation with somebody um a leopard never changes its spots kind of situation maybe for some of you but take those words as they are however you can put those into context within this reading so let's just turn the cards over now and we have the five of swords okay along with the star card the five of Stor swords here is turning your back on a situation you no longer want to be out of sorts with somebody you've said what you need to say and you walk away from a situation i feel there's been a situation um an antagonizing situation where two of you know more than one person has been a sort of on the attack with you okay verbally there's this just been this 
two against one type of scenario. Okay, it could be in a work ethic where maybe your managers or supervisors, you've had sort of two people on your back. Again, it's not going to resonate for all of you because not everybody works. If it isn't that kind of a situation, then it's either family or friends. There's just where you've had to battle out. It's like a battle out, a, a battle yourself through something, but now it's time to turn your back on it. Okay, and the star comes in of, yes, tears have been shed. So I'm looking at the tears from the cloud here, from the rain, in a metaphorical sense. But peace is coming in. You need to focus on allowing these emotions to run freely, allow that situation, whatever it is you got entangled up with, to go, to release, okay? Let's have a look what your inner psyche is feeling on this situation. What is deep within your hidden psyche? What else have we got for Gemini, please? And we've got the resting tree, patience, stillness. Goes with the star, really. Patience, stillness. Again, we've got water here. You've gone through it a bit, Gemini. You've gone through a situation that's affected your, you mentally. It's affected your health, okay? And now you've got to rest and recoup. I work with colour, guys, and there's a lot of green in that card. And it's saying there's something paid toll on you at the end of 2021. And it's basically not the stuffing out of you, whatever this situation is. And the resting tree is saying you need to take that time and rest and recoup from whatever battle you've been through. It could have been a health issue that you've been battling on that's affected you emotionally or affected somebody around you. Okay, but now it's saying to you, you need to take a load off and you need to look after yourself. You could have burnt yourself out in looking after others. You could have been burnt out yourself through health issues. Okay, but it's just saying the time to focus now is to rest. So let's have a look at the challenge from the universe then. What do they want to add to the mix for you, Gems? What else have we got for Gemini, please? I just feel they're saying you felt lost, okay? You felt lost in a way, uh, very, very misguided as well for some of you. But we've got from the universe in the challenge of five of earth. I feel the challenge for some of you was financially, but it's saying you're coming out of that because we've got more abundance coming in that you cannot see at the moment you're in this very low vibe energy your health levels have really dropped for whoever i'm picking up here financially there was some struggles going on but this is going to be sorting itself out in the near future but you cannot see that at the moment but just know that this there's light being shone on this situation for the positive okay let's just grab your animal spirit cards then have we got in your annual spirit cards and we've got the worker bee which is the alchemical sign of air which I feel is tied up with the finances here somebody's been working very hard to get this sorted out There's a lot of communication going on here to get something sorted out okay or there will be needed a lot of communication in the near future but look at this, we've got the alchemical sign of air again, and it's the dragonfly. The dragonfly represents you of being in a fragile situation, a very delicate situation, okay? But you are going to be seeing the light here and working your way through this, whatever that is that you are dealing with. So let's have a look at your energies going into the month of February, the very start. I didn't want to go back in got two cards for you let's have a look why that may be we've got contract okay blinded cannot see as i said you were in a situation where you were very blinkered you couldn't see yourself out of something okay these struggles whatever it is but there's a new contract coming into place as i said where it digs you out of that hole that health issue, that financial issue, that romantic issue, whatever that may be. 
And then the seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel, comes out. And I always look at this, four and one is five, change. She brings change in on a positive. And there's been a learning curve here. She holds the book of wisdom in her hands. The crown is seated on her head. And this is what I want to say. I want to put the crown back on your head. Okay, I want to put the crown back on, on you. Because you will go through a stage, a transformation, where you can come back to life. Because I feel like you've had the stuffing knocked out of you. You've gone through a really hard struggle whoever I'm picking up with, with these Geminis. But there's a new contract coming in, a soul contract really to yourself, as in I'm not going to let myself get to this level again. I'm not going to let myself get to this situation to feel soul, for some of you, soul rock bottom. So I'm just going to grab a message from your spirits, angels and guides to finish this reading off for you. What else have we got, please? And we've got listen. You have to be willing to listen if you want to really understand someone. Now is not the time to be offering advice, but to be a compassionate listener. To listen fully and intently means to pay attention, not to just what's being said, but to what lies beneath the words. So I feel in this instance, because it's come from spirit, I feel like they are listening to what you have been putting out there for help and assistance okay it can also mean that um you want someone to listen to you and take notice of you of what you have recently gone through as well my lovely gemini's but just know that is about to change so my lovelies i hope you can take some snippets away from that reading don't forget if you are new to my channel any likes comments share subscribe guys it just a little thank you to me it doesn't cost you anything it just helps my channel grow so until next time you take care of yourself bye then